Dylan Ledbetter and Jace Gilder, our Eastern Washington Eagle representatives here at Big Sky Media Day. Thank you, boys, for yeah. coming by. We appreciate it. Thanks Thank for you for the us, time. Thanks, Thanks for you. having us. Well, Eastern, Eastern football means something in the Big Sky, means something nationally. You guys have been successful for a long time. And by successful, we're talking all the way to the national title game. Yeah. What is it about the culture of the team? What is it about, and going back, Coach Best has been around a long time. Bo Baldwin was doing great things mm -hmm. in Cheney. Uh, I'll start with you, Jace. So what do you, how do you feel like, is it locker room? Is it culture? Is it expectation? What is it? It's just a family atmosphere. And uh, like I've been saying before, like uh, we practice what we preach. And it's a, it's a family atmosphere. And we've been showed the ropes uh, a little bit over the years with some uh, great great seniors ahead of us and have showed us how to win and, and what it takes to uh, to get to that level and to compete for a national title. And um, so, I mean, it's, it's the family, it's the, it's the camaraderie that we have. Is that what you feel, Dylan, like you were taught it and now you're in it yeah. and doing it yourself? I definitely think coming in, you know, it, like you said, it's a winning program. Um, but it's like instilled from day one, like we're going to put in the extra work, do the extra things that separate us from all these other teams. And, and just year in, year out, I mean, we have everyone's hungry, everyone wants like that's our standard, winning the Big Sky title, that's the bare minimum for a season for us. So we want to push our expectations and have that be like, okay, we win that. Now it's, we're competing for a national title every year. So I think definitely instilled from day one. JC, you're a tight end, you've caught some balls, 20, 20 catches last year, but you're also blocking for this incredibly productive run game, and that, that's a huge part of being a tight yeah, end. Of course. Probably more so than catching the ball, fair to say? Uh, yeah, no, definitely. Um, and I, I think uh, blocking, it, it opens up tight ends more in the passing game off hmm. of play action and all that. And, uh, and I would say like just how balanced we were, it got the tight ends more involved with our offense. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but it, it's huge that we're just so much more balanced. And I'd say making those blocks for those guys and let our playmakers make plays is, is just as rewarding as catching a touchdown pass or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of blocks, a little bit different, different kind of block you had three blocked kicks last year yep what is it about that setup and how you've done it because that's a lot I mean yeah. three's a lot for one team yeah. two's a lot for one team but for one individual to have three that's a ton. Yeah. Um, I mean it's just something I take a lot of pride in um, it's another play a chance to swing the momentum if I mean whatever happen, what needs to happen can happen in that one play and I mean the playoff game we needed some momentum we were just kind of stalling and mm -hmm. I mean, I, I was glad I was in that position and coach put me in the position to make that play. And I mean, everyone else followed. Kedrick took it to the house. But I mean, it's just something I take a lot of pride in. We're not taking plays off. And our, our defense, we keep our defense out there for a reason. And I mean, we're all hungry to get back there and get a piece of it. Eight and a half career sacks also. Yeah. Uh, so you, you can get behind the line of scrimmage. What have you worked on this offseason, personally? What have you tried to get back? Uh, just quickness and speed and flexibility, trying to be able to bend more, um, mm -hmm. bend edges better. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just quickness, speed, and just, just the basics, everything that's got me to this point, you know, and fine-tune the little things that needed the tuning. So, I mean, it's nothing crazy. It didn't take a whole new approach going into the last year, but just harping on the things that really needed to be worked on was the big one. But you? What did you get better at this offseason? Uh, for me, I had to take a different approach this uh, offseason just because I had a, a couple of shoulder surgeries um, that I was playing with during the season. And um, so for me personally, I just wanted to work on like getting my lower body stronger and, and flexibility and just so I can be more of that, that hybrid, make, make blocks and then break tackles on top of it. Uh, so definitely just working with the strength and speed and just uh, trying to work on flexibility, just trying to open up a little bit more and just uh, and then definitely rehabbing my shoulders to make sure I'm healthy for the season. Health, health and wellness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. You, you lose McPherson from the running game, yeah. but you've got Custer, yeah. you've got Pierce. Yeah. You guys just seem to reload, don't you? Yeah, oh, we've, we've got guys. I mean, we've got Dennis, too. we got young guys mm -hmm. coming in. Definitely. And then everyone's hungry for the opportunity, you know. Yeah. It's, Sam had a great senior year. Sad to see him go, but... I mean, we've got guys who can fill in his shoes and do great. And with our old line and our running game, with our tight ends blocking, you know, it's just that, that the two-headed monster of the pass run uh, uh, option we have, especially with Eric back there, our quarterback, it's just dangerous and it's, it's hard to game plan for. Mentioned Eric Barrier. He's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He can yeah, throw he's it. He's, he's, he's a special player. He's, yeah. he's with the ball in his hand. He's, he's something else. Absolutely. You guys think you can Get, get all the way back there and finish the job this year? Oh, yeah, without a, without a doubt. That's, is that the expectation? No, no. Oh, yeah. That's what you're talking about? Yep. All, yep. all off season from the, the second the game was over, you know, it was tough, but all of the older guys and young guys started following along, seeing like, hey, we can do this. You know, we, can, we know what it takes to get here. Now we got to take that extra step and mm -hmm. be able to work that much harder to make it and finish how we want. So without a doubt. Thank you, boys. Yeah. Good luck with it. Yeah, thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. it. Good to talk to yeah, you. I appreciate it. Thank appreciate you. it. Yeah, I appreciate it.